From the time Amelia was young, she knew that she wanted to do something different. She became enamored with aviation and set her sights on that. Amelia Earhart learned to fly from Netta Snook, one of the rare female instructors of the era. She took a number of odd jobs just to be able to afford her flight lessons. And she drove trucks and she was a photographer. Shortly after taking her first flights, she began record setting. In 1928, Amelia Earhart became the first woman to fly the Atlantic. She flew as a passenger from Canada to Wales. She had been promised a time at the controls, but due to weather and the realities of the flight, she never did get a chance. So she referred to herself as just a sack of potatoes. And that inspired her to actually do her own nonstop solo transatlantic flight in the Lockheed Vega. She did that in 1932, five years to the day after Charles Lindbergh. Shortly thereafter, she set a transcontinental record flying from Los Angeles to New York. Amelia enjoyed flying the Vega. It really was the aircraft of choice for record setters of the era. Her last flight is the round the world flight in 1937 in which she was lost, trying to find a very tiny island in the Pacific Ocean. You had to have a lot of courage to make these flights and to push these boundaries. She was determined and she had that required inner strength to do that.